Today I'm going to be competing with my friend Max to see who can make the most money dropshipping in 24 hours. So the rules are simple. We both have $100 to spend on finding a product, creating a store, and running ads to turn a profit. The person who makes the most money by the end of the 24 hours wins, and the loser has to get in this tub of ice. Because this challenge is only for 24 hours, we're going to be advertising through Instagram theme pages, and that's just because doing TikTok or Facebook ads would just take too long. With that said, let's jump right into it. So I've been thinking about this for the last hour or so, and I think I've come up with a product strategy. In the past, I've had a good amount of success selling posters in niche countries. So for example, I could sell posters about Norway, Italy, Iceland, whatever. If you've been watching my more recent videos, then you know I've tried to sell some more mainstream products and they haven't really worked out. So I think if I have any chance of winning this challenge, I have to go with something that I know will work. Because frankly, I really do not want to jump in that ice bath. All right, so I need a product. One important factor that I'm looking for is that the product solves a problem. But as I just said, I don't have anything specific in mind. So I guess I'll just go to AliExpress and maybe I'll find something. All right, so I just found this product right here, and it's one of those scrub daddy sponges. The vendors sell so many pieces of them. For example, this one, he sold 462 units, and this one, <laughs> he sold 2,580 units so far. So it looks very promising, and it's this one product from Shark Tank. It's like the exact same product called Scrub Daddy, and they generated $330 million in revenue so far. So I think I'll go with this one, because this product solves the problem, because it makes washing dishes easier. And that's exactly my marketing strategy. All right, here we are on AliExpress, and I'm looking at some of the different countries. So let's see what they have to offer. Okay, they got New York, that could be one. Greece could work. Santorini, that could definitely work. Paris is another potential option. I think that might be good. We are choosing Santorini. Let's start reaching out to some of the Instagram pages to see if we can find some advertisers. Boom, we are all done reaching out to people right now. Let's go ahead and start setting up this website. All right, so we are here on my computer and I'm gonna try to find out some sort of name. I compared and contrasted against Instagram and Google and this happened. I think I figured out a name. I just changed it on Instagram to Santorini Prince. So let me give you all some B-roll. Santorini Prince is the name we're gonna choose. I'm pretty happy with that. I think it's just a clean name that is recognizable and tells you exactly what we're selling. I've just been sitting here grinding out this website for the last hour or so and Max sent me that he has made some progress. So I'm gonna react to it right now. Okay, actually, never mind. He just sent me the thumbnail for this. If that's the thumbnail, then thank Max. <laughs> Definitely go and check out his channel. He's doing me a big favor by helping me film this video. So if you could check him out, then that would mean the world to me. With that said, I'm actually about to drive over to my other house, which is my mom's house. And I'm gonna show you guys the website there. I'm almost done. I just have some finishing touches to do. All right, so this took me quite a while, but welcome to Scrubbing. Right from the beginning, you're immediately shown what the product is and what it does. If we scroll down a little bit, there are a few features such as maximum cleaning efficiency, eight weeks no odors, and the lowest price guarantee. Then there's the product again, and a few more information about the product. And that's basically it. And if we go to the shop now button, we come to the product page, and I don't think it's the best product page just because of the colors and stuff, but I mean, I'm completely new to dropshipping, and therefore it's a pretty good result for my first time. There are some customer reviews, and that's basically it. Ah, and there's an about section. And as you can see, I'm offering four scrubbingers for $3.49, so that means that one scrubbinger costs 87 cents. Personally, I think this store can really convert to a few sales, just because the product is so cheap and I'm undercutting the market by so much. You know, having Linden as an opponent in this challenge really doesn't make things any easier. He has done so many dropshipping challenges so far and also made a little bit of money, and that's all experience that I don't have. Right now, he's probably already running the ads and making a few sales, and I haven't even created the ads yet. Hello. Hey, sweetie. How hey. are you doing? Good. I made it to my mom's house. We finished up the website, and now I'm going to give you guys a tour. You start off on this simple homepage that just has a picture of one of those pillars in Santorini, and it says Greek prints on it. As you scroll down, you just have the product. I'm not expecting many people to come to the homepage, so I didn't really do much here. Once you get to the product page, I have a couple of images. As you can see, we have two sets of reviews, which is just an error that I need to get rid of. I'll do that before launching the ads. Keep scrolling down, you just have an introductory paragraph and then some bullet points describing the product. 
And if you go down even farther, then you can see the reviews. There aren't that many reviews for this product, but I think having a couple of them will really help out our site. All right, you guys, so it's actually the end of the day now. I know a lot of time skipped, but I ended up not doing that much work for the rest of the night. Kind of just hung out with family, went on a walk and watched some TV. Anyway, I am extremely tired, so I'm gonna go to bed. Good night. Good morning everyone, it is currently the next day, I just woke up and it's time to finish this challenge. All I really need to do is do the ads. So that's what I'm about to knock out right now. I'm going to keep the ads really simple, just crank them out in like 15-20 minutes. Basically just show the product off, get like a picture of it, put it on a cool background and that way we'll be able to entice some likes and entice some engagement while not spending too much time creating the ad. There is kind of a problem that we ran into and that's that none of the Greek pages responded. So that means I can't post any ads on Greek pages. Maybe I didn't message enough, but I messaged a good amount. So what I did instead, I just messaged some more broad travel pages. First off, they'll give me way better prices. However, my content will reach more people, but the people that it does reach will be way less targeted. So it's a trade-off, but advertising to a group of broad people is much better than advertising to no one at all. So the next step will be to create the ads, and I will just use the ads from Scrub Daddy because it's literally the same product. My USP is really the low price that I offer the product at, and I really want undercut other sellers as much as possible. That's literally the only hope that I have to make more money than Linton because I really don't want to go in that ice bath. So I will use the $100 that I have available in this challenge all for Instagram story shoutouts. I will go with story shoutouts because in stories you can put a link and people can click on the link and it's one step less for them to go to the product page. So I really want to make the experience as easy as possible to buy my product. However, there is a tiny little problem that shouldn't hinder me too much in my challenge and that is that I don't know which niche I should target with my product. First, I could go with the barbecue cooking niche, but there aren't many theme pages in that niche. Or I could go with gadget pages, but those are mostly focused on tech and not on like kitchen appliances. So that's one problem that I need to figure out right away because I don't have much time left in this challenge. So this is what the ad looks like. It's just the ad from Scrub Daddy with some simple text on top and the six pages in total. We'll post them for the next 12 hours. We just got all the ads done and now we're ready to post. We have about eight hours left in this challenge so I think we should have plenty of time to get some sales and gain some traction. All right, we have all the ads posted. I'm really excited because we have such a broad reach. We have this page with 1.6 million followers who has posted our story. So I'm thinking that would get at least, you know, 50,000 people looking at it. Then we have this one who is 32,000 followers who also posted it. Uh, there we go. And they have a post as well. Then we also have this one with 114,000 followers who posted it as well. And as you can see, all links point back to our website. So yeah, I think we'll get some sales. I'm super excited. By the way, the challenge is almost over and I haven't even messaged some theme pages on Instagram to post my ads. So that's the next step to do. Because of the time constraints, I will go with a 12 hour story shout out. And that way I get more bang for my buck because there isn't much time left in this challenge and the 24 hour story shout out wouldn't make much sense now. All right, so it's now a few hours later and I just got this message from Shopify that I, that four items, I don't think you can see it. Four items were ordered from the store for a total of $15.96. I'm so hyped right now because the ads really worked. I can't believe it. The challenge ends in a couple hours where I'm gonna hop on a call with Max and see who has made the most sales. I'm pretty confident that I am gonna win, but we shall see. It depends on how many sales we get over the next couple hours. I'll catch you guys on that call. Yo, what's up? <laughs> Yo, what's up, dude? How's it going? Yeah. It's going fine. Like with the challenge and everything, it went like pretty well. I just... Okay, yeah. <laughs> all right, that's good to hear. It's like, I think it's a close call. Yeah, I, I wanted to play it safe. I wanted to go with something that like I knew already works. Because yeah. you know, like, bro, I haven't made like barely any sales with like actual physical products. <laughs> yeah. And so I was like, all right, let me do what I know works. And I was like, that way I actually have a chance to win, you know? Yeah, sure, yeah. Yeah, it was like kind of tough because I'm like completely new to dropshipping. So I like kind of thought it was the safe route to go like with a product that's already established on the market. How many store visits did you get? In total, I had 146. How about you? <laughs> no way. Yeah. <laughs> no way, dude. Like, did, did you have like 146 impressions or sessions or visitors? Yeah, it was uh, sessions. Yeah, it's like exactly sessions. the same. It's like, no, no way. way. <laughs> that's crazy. That's so cool. All right, I'll count down from I'll count down from five. All right, five. Four, three, two, 
One. Zero dollars. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Wait, how much did you make? It's like... $31, dude, <laughs> yeah. no way. <laughs> oh, dude, no. That means I'm gonna have to jump in that bath. <laughs> oh, dude, no. This is the ice bath. It's melted a little bit, but there is still some pieces of ice. We had three bags of ice that went into this, so it is cold. Oh, dude, it's actually cold. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh! <laughs>